want to talk about the OP5 because when it comes to the big leagues, there's more than just the numbers to take a look in. And these five players showed up in week six, starting with your fantasy MVP, Yankos. He went 5, 1, and 13. He had 100% kill participation versus OG. And as a team, H2K have uh, uh, secured eight first bloods. All of them, Yankos has been involved in. The two he's been involved in, he's even given up. So 10 out of 12 games. Next up, I want to talk about a mid laner, somebody who's rewinding time yesterday, and bird was the word today. It is Nuke Duck. He's great in lane. Plus nine CSD, doing very, very well as far as uh, the game is concerned and really showing a consistent level of play that we've not seen from him for a while. Uh, next player that has stepped up this week is going to be X Peppy from Giants. 14 kills, the most of any player in the European LCS this week. His Lux yesterday was fantastic. He's found his barrels today. Uh, fourth player on the list is somebody we've not seen on the OP5 yet. It is Wonderware. He had great CSD. This is something we've talked about a lot. Splice give him all of that mid-game farm. 9.7 CS per minute as a top laner. He went unkilled against Fnatic and helped Splice be the second team to pick up a victory against the top six. And finally is a man that everybody who has felt his sting this week, it is Cabo Shard, the man with the mouth who never falls behind. 93% kill participation as a top laner. I mean, I think it's fair to say, Cabo, that Vitality, they don't win without you on the front line, my man. Well, oh, I'm playing Lulu and just doubling my decay again. <laughs> <laughs> I try to set you up. I try to make you look good, yeah. No, no, but it's actually been a couple of weeks. Sorry, you were MVP last week as well. Um, obviously, we know from your gamut times, you've always been a very good player, but 